Hi, I'm Barb and I'm a nanotechnology researcher at the University of Alberta. Nanotechnology is actually a really broad term. What it means is the study of things that are very, very tiny, so nanoscale. A nanometer is maybe a little hard for us to think about. If we think about a ruler and we look at the millimeter line width, a nanometer is actually one millionth of that width, so it's very, very tiny. So a nanometer would be one millionth the size of this fingernail width. My background is in materials engineering, so I study mostly materials, so metals and ceramics, and I look at their properties and their nanostructure and how I can use these materials in uh, nano devices. When we want to look at a material, especially on the nano scale, because it's so small, we can't see it with our eyes. So we have to use some very specialized, expensive microscopes to be able to image these things. And what we actually do is use an electron, and that allows us to see the individual atoms in the material. To create a final product in the nanotechnology actually requires the integration of many different areas of research. So as a material scientist, I would focus on the materials. But you also need people in chemistry and physics to understand some of the processes for producing the materials. As well, you'll need other engineers that will help put together you know, these specialized materials into a way that we can use in the everyday world. Well, many of the uh, pipelines that are currently in Alberta are being replaced with this nano steel. The steel itself is not nano, but the very fine particles that are within the steel are nano, and that's what gives the steel these unique properties and makes it very well suited for transporting oil and gas. This lab that we see behind us is a state-of-the-art facility, which makes doing nanotechnology research here in Alberta very exciting. So you can have many different backgrounds to go into nanotechnology. You can be in engineering, biology, chemistry, physics. You can do nanotechnology research with all levels of education. Uh, a lot of the technical work and processing can be done with a two-year technical diploma. As well, people who have university degrees, like bachelor's degrees, will work in the nanotechnology area. And a lot of the research is done by people who have postgraduate degrees, so masters or PhDs. This is a really exciting field to be working in right now. The research is new, the ideas are new, the technology is new, and so the result is you can have a global impact even working here in Alberta. Bye, thanks very much for the visit.